Hey everybody, it's Brett with Summit Auto and today I am super excited to show you this brand new, our very first 2022 Jeep Wagoneer. This is a Series 3, it has the second row quad seating, it has the premium group which gives you the Macintosh 950X sound system with the 19 speakers, it has the rear Fire TV entertainment system, it also has the tri-pane panoramic sunroof and glass roof. It also has the passenger side uh, video screen and we'll check all of that out. All the Wagoneers come standard with the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine which is paired up with the e-torque electric motor and it's going to get you 20 miles per gallon on the highway, 15 city, for an average of 17 miles per gallon. It's gonna pump out 392 horsepower and 404 foot-pounds of torque. Now the main thing with this Wagoneer is that it's Jeep's full-size three-row seating. And this baby can pull up to 10,000 pounds, which is way better than the Tahoe, which pulls 8,400 pounds, and the Expedition, which pulls 9,300 pounds, and those are the segment, um, I guess, sales leaders in this particular segment. Diamond black is the color. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, smartphone, or television, turn them on right now because it is your best way to check out the look, styling, and options of the vehicle. And we're going to go inside, outside. We're going to turn all the lights on, do a walk around of that. I'm going to show you all the screens and everything that comes along with the Series 3 group. And uh, we're just going to do a really thorough overview of this vehicle. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we do videos like this each and every day in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell notifications and you'll get updates every time we do the videos. So this is going to come with the 22 inch polished aluminum and black noise painted alloy rims and they have Goodyear uh, Eagle touring tires. These are 285 45R22s. Definitely a highway tread pattern on there. Do really like the lettering on there. You get the American flag which is kind of um, if you've seen the new Grand Cherokee L's, that's kind of the way that Jeep's going with all the American flags. You get the nice power running boards. They're really wide. I would say they're probably five to six inches wide on there. Um, so really nice running boards from the factory. We'll take a look at the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything, but... Um, you can see it is a Series 3, 4x4, diamond black is the color, 5.7 Hemi with the e-torque, 8-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left is your standard features. So that includes the adaptive cruise control, remote start, active lane management, full speed forward collision warning plus, park view camera, park sense front and rear assist with stop, blind spot, rear cross path detection, pedestrian, pedestrian emergency braking, electronic stability control, hill start assist, and sentry theft deterrent system. Uh, it comes standard with the Uconnect 5 nav with the 10.1 inch display, the 10.25 inch cluster display for the instrument cluster, Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, and those are now um, Wi-Fi so you don't have to connect them um, through a cord or anything, so that's cool. You get the 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot with trial included, Navigation system, Sirius XM 360. Um, if you keep going down, Wagoneer Connect, wireless charge pad, tri zone climate control, heated steering wheel, heated seats, and everything that's standard equipment. Also on the top there, the LED headlamps and everything is all standard and the hitch and wiring. So your optional equipment is the Diamond Black, which is $595. Second row quad seating is $595 as well. Uh, gives you a second row captain's chairs with power tilt slide and floor console with cup holder, seven passenger seating. The premium group is a $5,495 option. 
You get the reverse cargo mat, luxury front and rear floor mats, foldable car cargo shade, tri-pane panoramic sunroof, power deployable running boards, adjustable roof rack with cross bars, 22 inch polished aluminum wheels with black noise pockets, the uh, all season tires, and then the Macintosh MX950 entertainment system with 19 speakers. You also get the rear seat entertainment system with the Amazon Fire TVs, four auto, 10.1 inch rear entertainment screens, video USB port, and then the front passenger interactive display, which is $11.95. Total MSRP is $88,720. Um, to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to that uh, to our website to get that price. Five year 60 powertrain, three year 36 bumper to bumper. 15 city, 20 highway, average of 17. You can see your fuel economy and smog ratings right there. It is not government five star crash test rated yet. We're going to get to this interior in just a second and I'm going to show you everything that it has to offer, which is really really nice now if you want to see the the shorter version of this video in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to the short video we did basically i just walk around the vehicle real quick show you the interior start it up uh, show you all the screens real quick in the second row and third row seats we don't get as in depth as this video so check that video out it has receiver hitch four pin and seven pin wiring the rear gate is just press the button there it is a power gate Here's the floor mat. Here's the cover for the um, receiver hitch. And that's actually kind of a gray metallic. I'm guessing that's probably Baltic gray. This is your rear sunshade that folds up. Underneath here, those are your cross rails for the roof rack. They're not installed yet. And then you have your jack tools underneath here. So the third row seats are power down. You press the buttons right here and you can see that they go down like so. And honestly, what impresses me most about this vehicle is the third row itself sitting back there, just the room, the comfort of the seats. And we'll get back there in just a second. But you can see those seats go up and down real nicely. And when they're down nice and when they're down flat, they are actually nice and flat. Press this button, it'll beep at you three times, and then it'll begin its descent do really like that lettering on there it's kind of a finished machined metal look for the Wagoneer block lettering there LED tail lamps it does have the capless fuel fill which is a really nice feature and they don't have the it's just the push button to open that which is really nice you do get the heated power mirrors blind spot monitoring directional signals and blind spot mirrors in there. It has the enter and go system. And here is the interior. You get the global black leather seats. Both of these seats are heated. Both of these seats are cooled. Driver's side lumbar. These are the premium or luxury floor mats as they call them. Auto headlamps, power pedals. You get your power telescopic and tilt steering wheel. Get the nice wood grain trim on there, onto the door, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, memory driving, driver seat, and then the Macintosh sound system. The other thing that really got my attention the first time I drove this was the steering wheel. It's really a nice soft touch leather. Um, it definitely feels like luxury. You get the Wagoneer logo in the center there. Uh, everything is nicely laid out like the normal Chrysler Jeep Ram steering wheels are. And then you have that 10.25 instrument cluster there. And that is quite a system. And the oil pressure is low because we do, do not have it running. So you get digital speedometer and everything right there. I'm going to try and dim it down so that we can... Can't dim that down. Anyways, you can do your different settings right here. Um, 
basically sound that's your lane departure warning and you can do the nav here as well um, i think you actually have to have the vehicle running and all that for that to work but you get your digital speedometer there and you can do or you can make it like that and it will give you your adaptive cruise control and all that good stuff right there with the driver assist now this is the uconnect 10 inch 10.1 inch radio the uconnect 5 this is run off of android auto and the cool thing about this radio is it's five times faster uh, just from a processing speed, like switching screens, um, going as stuff loads up. It's five times faster than the previous Uconnect 4C version. So it's a lot faster. It's a lot more responsive. Um, I think it's a lot easier to use. It's a little bit more intuitive, uh, but it's, it's really a nice system. You have your climate controls here you have your heated and cooled seat buttons they have quick buttons on the side here as well that you can press um, of course you get the factory navigation system you can check out your vehicle all the different stuff in here the second row headrest you can power full down third row headrest you can power full down you can turn that passenger side screen on and off and you can see that screen right there that is really cool so basically the passenger can um, use that screen you can plug in an hdmi cable down here which is really neat there's your wireless cell phone charge pad and you know they can basically i guess play video games or something off of there uh, the other neat thing that i was told i haven't tried it out yet but that you can actually control um you could like program a, a navigation point from there so that the driver doesn't have to do it um, just a lot of cool stuff that you can do and then you have all your different um, apps in here of course and one of the cool apps that i saw that i was playing around with before so of course you got all your heated seats cooled seats you got different driver profiles that you can set up uh, you can do android auto apple carplay um, has the marketplace on there but you can do the off-road pages as well which are you know the typical jeep chrysler off-road pages gives you latitude longitude altitude you get your accessory gauges steering angle pitch and roll uh, select terrain so that's part of the Quadra Track 2 system, which is this right here. So you can change that. You can see it changes it right up there as well. Sand, and then rock, you'd have to put it to four-wheel drive low, um, just like the other ones. But then you have Sport Mode, which changes your shift points um, and gives you a little bit better throttle response. So all that you can do. And then you can do your suspension. So this has the Quadra Lift suspension, so you can raise and lower it. Um, very cool stuff there. Back to all the different apps. The one thing that I was trying out before, it's got this kind of crazy relax mode. Oh, there it was. Um, so you can do relax mode, and what it'll do is it'll play music, and it'll give you a relaxing screen. And I was doing just a little bit of research on the vehicle before and I had this on and it was really calming and it, it helped me, uh, you know, kind of forget about what I was doing and just took the, and it plays it on the passenger side there. Gives this kind of ambient hum to the vehicle. Really cool. Anyways, just check out how this dash is laid out. It goes into the instrument cluster there. Check out that tripane panoramic sunroof. The third row seats have a sunroof as well, or glass roof, I should say. And just a really cool setup, really nice design on everything. Um, everything is really ergonomic. The seats are extremely comfortable. This is your automatic transmission shifter. Start, stop, lane departure, stability control, parking sensors, all that good stuff, tow haul, 
um, has the neutral setting for flat towing so yes you can flat tow this vehicle uh, downhill assist control as well or hill descent control as it's called and those are push buttons too but um the trim here get the cup holder the key fob is the kind of rectangle new jeep style key fob that they have remote start power lift gate and it's the enter and go system too and then you get center console storage here you also get a little storage bin right here with a usb and usb-c plug-in and here is your control for the rear fire tv screens speaking of that we'll go take a look go take a look at the back seats we can leave that ambient relax mode on so the second row seats here, these are sliding. So they do adjust um, and they have a bar underneath to do that. You can see they slide up like so. And they also slide back like that. Now you can put them down two different ways. So you can put just the backrest down and then it kind of goes down nice and flat. Now don't do it too close to that screen because I could see that headrest smacking into that if you have the seat all the way up and you put that down but uh you can see they go nice and flat so when you have those third row seats in the flat mode um actually i think we can even put that seat down with the buttons right there which is a really nice feature so you can see just how nice and flat and even those seats are for when you have to haul a bunch of extra stuff So there are your cup holders. Here's your rear air controls. These second row seats are heated. You do get 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two USBs, two USB-Cs. Um, and then your Fire TV displays are right here. So basically, basically if you're hooked up to Wi-Fi or if you have the 4G LTE subscription, you can basically run your Fire TV stick. It's just like a Fire TV stick. Um, where you can run YouTube or all your different apps. And if you have logins, you can basically watch TV in your car. Really cool. Um, definitely a game changer when it comes to uh, vehicles and long trips and you know just keeping everybody entertained. So to get to that third row, these seats kind of fold up like the Pacificas do. And then you can fold those forward to get into the third row. Now this is the this is the big thing for Jeep and Chrysler is to have a full third row vehicle that the seats are comfortable. You have plenty of leg room. You have plenty of headroom. You can see I have plenty of room back here. You also get two you get a USB and a USB-C back here and then these seats recline just a little bit and they also can go forward but they're kind of as back as far as they can be but they're just very very comfortable seats uh, compared to like the grand cherokee l i was just in the other day lots of room and then the other thing is just the height of the vehicle so getting in and out of here for somebody that's a little bit taller is really nice um, I can get out easily. These running boards make it really easy to get out as well. And they really, really did a nice job. And I don't think it's that easy to get out of a Tahoe or an Expedition. The other thing is they have the lighting on the floor. I don't know if you can see it. We got too many lights on in here. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start up the vehicle and we're gonna do a walk around, final walk around with the, all the lights on so that you can see it all lit up. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. The Wagoneer logo comes from, comes from the mirror there to be illuminated on the floor. 
and we'll do one more final walk around here. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you've gotten a really good idea of the overall looks, styling, feel of the all new Jeep Wagoneer. Diamond black's the color on this one. Look at all those LED headlamps, LED running lights. Obviously the seven slotted gr grill. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Thanks again for checking out the video. If you want to check out more videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos we do each and every day. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Jeep Wagoneer videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and thanks again for checking out the video, and remember to like, subscribe, and share.